Hello everybody, welcome back to Sophie's Stage. You're here with me, Sophie, and it's yet another Friday just before the weekend. And what a better way to spend it than have some time with me. So what I have for you today is actually three jackets, three very long and warm jackets that I really love wearing during winter. If you can't tell, I have a little bit of a cold going <laughs> and it's still telling in my voice. So yeah, I haven't been keeping warm too well this winter and England is particularly cold during this time. Yeah, it's absolutely freezing outside. So I've dug out three of my favorite coats and this is what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna start with my very first one. So my very first coat, even though it doesn't look like it's too thick, uh, it actually keeps the heat very well in. Uh, it's very isolated. It's like it's the way it's the material that it's made of. It's 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 a woolen coat and it's very long, very soft, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my very very favorite ones as well. I would usually wear it if it's colder. I would wear it with a scarf around my neck because obviously you can see how it's quite open at the top it's got really nice sleeves and i love how it shapes around too The one little downfall about this one is that it doesn't actually have pockets so you can't actually put anything inside which personally for me is a big minus because I just tend to carry everything in my pockets I'm not very much of a bag girl <laughs> myself uh, but overall this is a really nice little outfit that I really like wearing during winter sometimes when it's maybe towards the end of winter when it's starting to get a little bit warmer as well So for the second jacket, this is something that I've had for a very long time and it's actually a jacket that I've been considering throwing away for a while. I did think about repairing it because as you can see it's leather but the leather started to break and it will show if you look at it up closely. You can't actually tell from very far. It is a favourite jacket of mine. It was a little bit more on the expensive side that I got from River Island. Uh, it's a place that I sometimes shop in but not very very often often uh, it is very nice it's got so many pockets I mean of course you can tell that it's my favorite because it's leather as well uh, but I like the length and it keeps you surprisingly warm <laughs> Uh, 
it's it's absolutely gorgeous i love the way that it looks the way it sits i love the little belt as well that it helps you like kind of shape it around the waist it just makes it like a perfect little outfit all together it's great for winter it's absolutely fantastic for winter but also it's actually quite a casual look too it, like it looks quite elegant but you know it kind of keeps it casual in a way For number three but for number three i'm gonna take you to a very very nice place this is actually not a place in birmingham i showed you around birmingham just a little bit earlier on but now i'm gonna take you to a very different place which i forgot how it's called <laughs> what the fuck was it called webs in droitwich that's it webs garden center exactly i'm gonna take you to that place and i'm gonna show you my third outfit there So my third coat is actually not that warm and it's not that long either. It's just a favorite of mine. It it does it is very very fluffy and it makes you feel very Christmassy. It is proper wintery kind of like outfit. But I mean, you wouldn't be able to wear a jacket on top of it, but it almost feels like you need yet another layer somehow because it just lets the wind in so much. Or maybe it's designed for not such a cold weather or like here, I'd spend more time inside than outside wearing it. So it's kind of okay. I love the fact that it's got pockets, but one of my absolutely favorite things about it is how flipping fluffy it is. Like it's absolutely gorgeously fluffy. <laughs> There's nothing better than having a fluffy jacket. So yeah, I kind of like, I've, I've kept this for years. I've had it for years and I just can't separate with it, even though it doesn't keep me that warm as the first two. Now I'm gonna walk around the Webb's garden center. As you can see, this is very gorgeous for inside and outside they have a place where you can eat as well they've got a place where they just sell food like a restaurant but there's also like a, a shop in shopping place too you've got a cafe and it's usually very nice during summertime with the outdoors plants and uh, all that department they've got outdoors buildings too which i'm not going to spend too much time around but yeah it's absolutely gorgeous what they do during winter as well they've got something like i think they're called like enchanted gardens or whatever um and yeah it looks absolutely gorgeous i'd love to go in there but i am never queuing i'm never going to be able to hold on to that queue like 
gotta be here for hours to do that and no I'm not a patient person <laughs> Well, I hope you don't feel too cold right now and yeah, it's the end of the video for me. That's everything I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was quite fun making it and just getting outside a little bit. I still have a little bit of a cracky voice if you can't tell, <laughs> but uh, it should be all fine by next week when I'm going to see you again. Until then, you can follow me. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you always know where i'm around and i'd love to hear from you in the comments below i'm also on instagram and as you know patreon too if you want to see more content and until next week see you soon i showed you around birmingham just a little bit earlier on but now i'm going to take you to a very different place which i forgot how it's called <laughs> what the fuck was it called Hold on a sec. Check on my other phone. It was cold. What was it called? It's not on this phone. What center was it? Three hours later, I'm still thinking. Gosh. Oh, I have to find out. <laughs>